Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a quick fly through of your level in um, Unreal 4. Uh, so all I've done here is created a series of corridors with a room at the end. Um, and all I'm going to do is create a camera and then use a matinee sequence to animate that camera and fly through my level. So the first thing that we want to do is come over to this basics tab here in the left hand side and drag and drop our camera into our scene. So you'll notice when you have your camera selected that another viewport will open up uh, showing you what it, the camera is actually looking through. Which is very, very handy if you want to get your camera set up into its starting position, which I'm going to do right now. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is when I'm happy with where my camera is, I'm going to go to matinee and I'm going to add a matinee. So this will open up your matinee um, viewport. Uh, basically, this is kind of like a timeline where you can animate certain objects in your environment. Um, one thing that I always do is with my matinee, is I have that selected in my scene outliner and I will always name it just because you might end up with a lot of matinees in your level and then if you want to open up the viewport again have that matinee selected and just open up matinee here so uh, the first thing I want to do is when I create this matinee is have my camera selected and then right click over in this dark gray area and I'm going to add a new camera group. Now it's important that you have the camera selected during this part. I'm just going to call this fly, just for fly through, and press enter. Now the cool thing is, I can deselect my camera now. I have a camera icon up here that I can click, and now my main viewport turns to what that camera can see. Um, in here I've got a movement and an FOV angle timeline that I can keyframe in. And you'll notice down here I've got my timeline scrubber that I can click and drag. It's just a black bar. If I zoom out, you'll notice that I've got these red and green flags. These kind of denote how long my animation is going to last. So I'm going to go for something like uh, probably 10 seconds. So I'm going to just drag my red flag to about 10 and my green flag to 10. You'll also notice that in movement, uh, Unreal 4 uh, automatically creates a um, keyframe wherever you have your camera situated when you start off. So it is important that you do set your camera up in a place that you're happy with. Then all we have to do is follow these uh, sequence of events, um, which are move my time, so it's in zero seconds, I might go for one and a half. Come over to my viewport and move my camera. So I'll move it along something like that. Then come back to your matinee, click on movement and press enter to add in a keyframe. And if I scrub through you can see that it's playing through that animation. Might actually just raise it up here a bit. And I'll just go along, uh, move my camera, click on movement, add the keyframe, move my timeline, move my camera, Click on movement and I'll do this until I'm at the end of my sequence of rooms. And then if I play through, you'll see that will play that animation for me. <clears throat> Another thing that I might do is I might click on this small tiny icon here which is going to show me the curves of my uh, movement track and I'm just going to click on this fit horizontally and fit vertically and if I just zoom out I'm just going to hold down control and alt that allows me to draw a marquee and select all my keyframes and I'm just going to turn these to auto so this will give it a nicer smoother animation of easing and out of those turns Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I can close down my matinee. I'll probably actually just bring it down to that final keyframe there on the red flag. And then I'll save that out. And what I want to do is I want to create a blueprint that will play this at the start of the level. So if I click on blueprints and open level blueprint, what I want to do is start this off when I start my game. So I'm going to start by right clicking 
and type it in begin and then you have this event event begin play so this is basically when you uh, play your level this here event begins and what we wanted to do is we're going to drag this out actually I'm going to have my matinee selected for this I'm going to right click and I'm just going to type in play and then we've got under call my function on fly mat which I've named cinematic play and if I plug this in right now okay you think it would play that but we need something else which is called cinematic mode I'm going to set that up so it's high player, fax HUD, fax movement, turning, uh, cinematic mode. Make sure they're all true. And then I'm going to copy and paste this right at the end. And make sure that we come out of all those things. So set those to false. Um, other thing, um, what we haven't done on matinee, if I go back. So if I open that up. Uh, we haven't set up a director group so if I right click here and add new director group you see it has one kind of timeline there which is director basically if I bring this back to the start and press enter to keyframe that in it's looking to cut to a group so you can actually cut to multiple cameras using this so if I had two cameras in here I could actually use and switch between them uh, using this director group so I'm just going to click on the fly which is going to be okay and then I can exit out of that again so now if I plug all these together, uh, we should begin the level, set it to cinematic mode, play the game, or play the actual matinee, the fly through, and then come out of that cinematic mode. So I'm going to press play. You can see it's just going to play through that matinee. My hood and everything's gone as well. And then that's us back in the level. So that's how you create a matinee sequence uh, to create a fly through and that's how you set it up uh, using your level blueprints.